Hello and welcome back to this developer commentary uh, slash playthrough from Unloved. I'm the creator, Paul Schneider. And yeah, this is where we've left off. And I got a new some new questions from you guys, which I'm trying to answer. Whoa, what's happening with my frame rate again? I don't know. Alright, uh, let me kill this first. Okay. Come on, why won't you die? Alright. Well, now, the first question is from uh, Hippocat, who is, of course, the VIP of this uh, developer commentary, because without him this never would have happened. Um, and he is asking the custom monsters in this map. Uh, if I wanted to make my own monsters or why did I decide to use this? And it's quite simple because mm, of course I had uh, in mind to make own monsters because why not? But I wanted to keep this project simple. Uh, at the same time I was developing my Gun Girl 2 game which is also in the description below. It's a freeware game, you can download it for free and play it if you like. And um, yeah, I wanted to keep this project simple. So that's why there's just a couple custom monsters. Because I played maps like Chiokish, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. But those maps also had, I'm lying. Those maps also had uh, custom monsters and I, I liked them a lot. Uh, so I yeah I took them from bestiarity, uh, bestiary I don't know uh, bestiary whatever it's from realm six 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 seven. Um, okay, this is not working. <laughs> okay, I will kill those monsters and then I will answer the next question. Okay. Because I suck. This is not cool. Die, Mr. Green Dude. I don't like green dudes. You look unhealthy. Die. Whoa. Okay, they're dead now. Alright. Uh, my next question comes from Joan Michel, M Michael M Michel, I don't know, um, and he or she, I don't know, is asking why did I use the Doom engine? And this is almost the exact same answer as for Hippocat, because the Doom engine is very easy to use. I think it's very easy to make maps for it, because it's all in a 2D layout, and just listen this short effect as you can see I'm in the room now I'm dropping down and I'm in the same room but upside down well back to the question uh, I used the doom engine because I was developing a doom megawatt for it when I was about I don't know 12 or 14 or something something whoa, whoa. that's not nice die no no I'm dead what? I didn't save? Oh man, this has to stop. Alright, well I was developing a megawatt when I was about 15 or something, 12, I don't know. And I used uh, a, a, an editor that was called Deep Sea, or Deep back then. And it was a shareware editor. And it was very limited. It had almost, I don't know, 800 lines or something that I could use. And it's... It, I made maps which were extremely tiny and had no detail whatsoever and they were very crappy. And I never decided to upload them ever because they were just crap and I didn't want to upload my crap when I was like 15 or something. So... With that in mind, uh, I recently, before I started making Unloved, I stumbled across the Doom Builder 2, which is an awesome, awesome editor. 
it's very easy to use and very uh, yeah look it's very similar to deep which i was using back then so i watched some tutorials online and started immediately making maps and it's it was very fun to use and very nice so yeah that's when i started making unloved okay dudes you have to die no I suck. But it's okay to suck sometimes. Yeah, some manky pie. Whoa. Ah, you should pay more attention. Okay. And this leads me to another question. Uh, from who was it chaos leviathan who asked me if this is the the sound you hear from those dark shadow guys is this the sound from clive barker's undying's howlers and yes it is uh, i've recently watched a let's play from a very cool girl named manga minx who is from england i'm pretty sure and she's very funny and she's playing uh, unloved, uh, not uh, not unloved, undying. And yeah, I've recognized the sounds. I I didn't play it myself, but I recognize the sounds. It's definitely from there. Yeah, as you can see, upside down rooms here with Mankubai, and I'm trying to build stuff. Don't come too close. I'm shy. Go away. I don't have a rocket launcher. And now I can show you... I knew I saw a shadow there. Are you dead? I hope so. Oh man, it's not looking too good for me. Oh, shit. <sighs> Let's kill those dudes. There's a secret, by the way, behind me, which I could abuse for this. Ouch. But I'm not trying to take anything from secrets, because when I made the maps, I imagined that not everyone would get the stuff that's in a secret, and I didn't want to have the player rely on what's in a secret, so I, when I play tested this, I always made sure that I was able to survive this. Yeah, uh, I was able. Damn it! I have to save more often. Well, I can bypass some time with a new question, I guess. So where was I? I'm dying. I had this. Okay. Now uh, this is a complicated question. I will uh, save that for later. Um, were there any areas I had to cut out? previous versions or stuff like that this was a question asked by ultimate carl and that's a very quite a nice question i think and yes i had a lot of areas i had to cut out or change for the final uh, love because at some point maybe i decided to change it because it didn't fit the mood right or i had to cut areas because um, the map was getting too long and the areas were too uh, I don't know, too difficult or something. And usually when I'm cutting out areas, I'm trying to preserve them for maybe a second part. Ooh, spoilers! But yeah, I'm currently developing Unloved 2, which is uh, one third is done, I guess. But I digress. Yes, I had a lot of areas to cut, um, especially at the end of the levels. Um, uh, for this map, uh, I'm not sure, but for almost every other map, the the ending was just cut in, uh, cut out of. As you can see, there's a secret where you can jump over the light. I'm not taking this, and same with this. Ooh. 
it's also nice if the heart is coming you can just run back and jump on the secret and you're almost uh, invincible up there so uh, yes this was the question about areas custom monsters and the uh, ogre or the ogre asked another question about the mages in this uh, map set uh, he said that those were taken from hexen or heretic and the sounds are from blood and this is partly true the monsters that are actually taken from hexen or heretic have the uh, same sounds as in those games but uh, there's also another enemy that's the cultist who is uh, resembling the player uh, model from blood a little bit and those guys are talking with the blood enemy sounds yeah, I don't want to screw up again, because I imagine it's getting boring to watch. Die! Eat shotgun bullets! Oh. So, I have no chain gun ammo left. Now, to my final question that I have written down here. Uh, why? What? Die! Why is this called unloved? Well, this is kind of a difficult question because... Um, uh, the, the thing is, I wanted to have the map uh, have a name that's pretty easy to remember. So I just wanted to have one word or two words or something similar. And then the other reason, of course, is why it's called Unloved is because of the theme of the maps. I wanted to have... I know um, a lot of people have... I mean, come on. Every one of us, some in some point in their life, have a phase or a time where they just feel like nobody cares or the life is treating you unfair and you feel lonely or I mean I mean maybe your girlfriend break broke up with you or something happened in your life someone died maybe of your family or something and you just feel that life is not fair and you feel well that's the name of the you feel unloved by by everything and this is what I wanted to um, uh, get across with this map that nothing in this world where you are, nothing loves you and nothing is there for you and everything is against you. And now I have to deal with arch vials without a rocket launcher and that's... That's a difficult part, I guess. Let's save. I'm dying! So is the arch vial! Yay! Yay for death! Whew. I hope I didn't... Come on! I hope I didn't forget any questions. Of course, I'm trying to answer them later in the next part. Because this part is almost over! Whoa! Ugh. It's never good if an archvile has you in his flames of death. One down. I have one health. That's not good. It's always good if those guys are in fighting with some arch file somewhere. Hey, come on, die. Hmm. This is getting difficult. Okay. Whoa! No! I'm dead. Okay, I guess this is the end of this part. See me dying a lot more in the next one. Thanks for your questions, guys, and... 
Imp! Whoa. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for your questions. And if you have more questions or comments or something, I'm glad to answer that. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next part.